Now this morning, more conflict at some of California's universities. At UC Berkeley, pro-Palestinian protesters have taken over an abandoned building just a day after the clearing of an encampment there on campus. Meantime, at UC Davis, a group of protesters say they have no intention of leaving. Then at UC Irvine in Southern California, police have arrested over a dozen protesters, including faculty members, after breaking up an anti-Israel encampment there. And it is sites like those that you see that have some UC workers saying enough is enough. A strike across those UC campuses has been authorized after multiple encampments from UCLA to UC San Diego have been torn down by police wearing riot gear. KCR 3's Aaron Heft has more from UC Davis. This is a very unique circumstances. These unions and their strikes, they don't typically get entrenched in politics or political stances. Well, this one is, and in the next 24 hours, we'll know exactly how affected these campuses will become. Now, the union involved is called UAW 4811. They represent 48,000 University of California student academic workers, including those here at UC Davis. According to the union, the strike would be, quote, in response to the UC's unprecedented action acts of intimidation and retaliation directed at our rights as academic employees to free speech, protest and collective action, end quote. This while meantime, a group of protesters encamped at UC Davis say they have no intention of leaving. The group against the Israel Hamas war has been camped out in place for over 10 days. The camp has now grown to over 200 people. Organizers say they met with university leaders to discuss their demands. One of those key demands is not doing business with entities tied to Israel. As of right now, it looks like the campuses that will most likely be most heavily affected will be UCLA, UC San Diego, and UC Irvine. At the UC Davis campus, Aaron Haft, KCRA 3 News.